For all my foodie friends out there, one of the best things you can do in the kitchen is make delicious food, but making it look amazing is exactly what my friend Jenny from TheUrbanPoser.com is gonna do. What are we making today, Jenny? We are making spicy crab and avocado salad stacks. Ooh, let's get right into the recipe. You know, Nate, what I love about this salad is that it's super easy, but it looks fantastic. It sounds really good. I love crab meat, so I'm kind of excited about I it. I love crab meat, I'm too. I'm kind of hungry, too. Well, you're going to be able to eat it. <laughs> okay, what do we do first? First, we make the sauce. Okay. It's just mayo. Do we need lemon? Yes, oh, we do. We need about a teaspoon of lemon. Cool. I'm going to get some seeds here. Do this move. A little bit more, is that good? That's good, that's good. Sweet. Uh, and then we just add the sriracha. Oh, I love sriracha. You can add as much as you like. And then we're just gonna stir it up. It doesn't really need any salt because the mayo's usually got enough salt. If you want it a little thinner, you can just add a little bit of water at a time. You have a fun trick for lettuce. What is your fun trick? Well, with this stack so that it doesn't like pop it up sure. out of our little molds, um, we wanna cut out the- The whole vein, all of it? The whole vein, all of it. All right, like this? Yes. Okay, got all of it, like that. Lay them on top of each other and from the short side, just roll them up oh, really tight. Getting fancy. See, it's really easy, it easy fancy. tips and tricks, right? So I'm gonna just like we chip nod. We cut them super thin, yeah. so just like really thin little, and it's shredded lettuce, but it makes it very elegant. And it works really nice because we're doing the stack, and so it will it will press into the stack really nice mm. and not pop up. Beautiful. So I like to put my sauce in a, just a little squeeze bottle. Mm. You can do ketchup bottle. Anything really works. And we just add the sauce to it. It can be a little messy. We use the holy guacamole, 100% right. avocado, which is awesome because when you get avocados, they're usually either really hard and not ripe. Or they're not in season. Or they're not in season. Right. Or you buy them and they turn before you can use them and it's incredibly oh, I frustrating. That. So I, I love that. it. We save money when we use this. And with this one, we want the avocado to be extremely cold. So we've had this one chilled for quite a while, so yes. it's gonna be nice and firm. You also have an amazing blog. Urban Poser blog started out as a yoga blog we eventually became to eat a paleo diet, and so the blog converted to a paleo food blog, and I took up photography. And yeah, photography is amazing. We've done recipes all along that, was, that were recipes on it before, um, but yeah, so thank you. If you guys haven't been there, you guys need to go to theurbanposer.com and check out everything. All right, here is your avocado. What's next? Um, we want to mix it with just a little salt because it's not salted. Boss. We want to be really gentle with the mixing so that we leave some of those chunks, and that okay. helps give the body to the, the actual stack. So we're gonna set it directly in the center can I, of our plate. Can I do it, can I help? Yeah, so um, you really only need about a third of a cup for these, maybe a little more if you're using the so, cheesecake. And then you wanna smooth it out and make it nice and flat. I'll let you do that part. Yeah. Okay, What's so next? the next is we wanna put our lettuce in, and that's Sweet. what gives us that salad feel. All right, so um, just... Quite a bit, actually, because oh, really? we press it in, and this is where it sometimes can press out. So then we're just gonna put the crab on top there. We don't really have to press down too hard, because okay. we're gonna put the crab on this is just like what, the lump crab meat that you buy? Yeah, uh, we can put quite a bit. So again, it's about one third, one third, one third. You put one third crab. Okay, so here we just kind of press it in and you don't want it like flat, flat, but, mm -hmm. but this mm -hmm. is actually pretty good. So what we're gonna do, we just want it nice and molded. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna lift it up. You're gonna press down. Oh, sweet. And come straight up with it. Awesome. And then you get this gorgeous thing, and it's actually pretty cool because the lettuce kind of peeks out and yeah. pokes out. And the more lettuce you have, the more it pokes out. Now we're gonna put the tomatoes just a little bit on top. Um, just like a we little. We can also put a little, you know, you just pretend like you're on like a big chef show. You have we to gotta get in there really close. Like WD, you yeah, focus. you gotta like, almost like you gotta tweak it. See, it looks better because we get close it to does. it. And now it's the fun part, right? Here's now the last the fun part. Tip. Now we get to do the, um, the little dressing guy. Sometimes I start just on top. It's pretty. Um, and then from there, if you want to be really fancy, you can Boom. go all over it like but that. And then like you can add a little, pepper, a little like yeah. on the edges. That's gorgeous. See? The Boom. Tag team. High five. And we can, wait, wait, we forgot, oh. the, uh, we forgot the perfect. Now it's perfect. Perfectly calibrated. Can we high five now? Yeah, now we can high five. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, now it's time to taste, right? Yes. There you go. I'll let you go first. All oh, right. You know, I'm a gentleman. Make sure that it's okay. Yeah. It can be a little messy. My favorite part is the avocado. It's so rich and creamy. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. It is. I'm gonna just put some more of this on there. Hit, hit me. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't I'm be cheap on me. I'm never good at this. There we go, yeah, there we go. Perfect. You gotta load this on, this stuff is good. Mm. 
It's really, really good. There you go, it's pretty much that easy to do. An amazing, easy, delicious, and beautiful appetizer. It's so much fun. You guys make sure you check out Ginny on her blog, theurbanposer.com. If you want this recipe and tons of other fun recipes, go to our website, eatholy.com. And as always, click that subscribe button, like, and comment. Let us know how much you love everything. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Good seeing you. It's great. See you guys later.